So hello and welcome to another edition of video in the YouTube times. Thank you for clicking and stuff. Anyway, today's video theme is on the, the topic of freedom. Because you know, freedom is an important national right for your brain. For example, if I wanted to play laggy Overwatch PTR Doomfist gameplay at the start of my plugin video, I have the freedom to do so. And today's plugin is also about giving more freedom to the, the players to have more options and developers to have more freedom in creating options. It all ties together and is not just some really bizarre way to introduce the video. So thank you for your cooperation. I'm gonna go take a poop now. See you in 10 minutes. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes. Anyway, welcome to the new plugin of the day, which is the Options Creator. Now, I, ha I haven't worked on this plugin in like 5 years, so I don't know much. Like, uh, <laughs> it requires 2 other plugins, so I, I didn't know that. Give me a second. A few moments later. And alright, so now we got these 2 other plugins to use in the plugin time, so just throw that up there throw this one up there and here we are ready to go so the options creator is a plugin that lets you create options so to do so you just click on the little options thing right here you're gonna add a new option to the list we'll give it a name so like blah, blah. you know we'll actually give it a real thing we'll call it a diffi diff difficulty like that and then uh, we'll give it a description the difficulty of the the game there we go and then we'll say a uh, position we'll put it in the middle and then a uh, condition true I guess okay so wait no okay let me explain position is gonna be the position relative to the other commands obviously so that's gonna be simple condition is a JavaScript evaluation which determines whether or not this command appears so if I set it to be I don't know game switches dot value of four this command would only appear if value if switch four is turned on so we'll keep it like that variable ID um this is a variable that stores the option apparently so we'll call it variable one difficulty like that and then finally we'll find the default value which is one on change eval there's a lot of stuff man options oh god okay so now you can add options so we can make it so it's like easy We'll do um, medium, and then we'll do hard. Now the way this works is so that each option corresponds to the value listed right here. So see that little one right there? Easy is gonna to correspond to the value of one, medium is gonna be two, and hard is gonna be three. So for the default value, we'll set it to two, because we want the default value to be medium. And then also variable ID one is going to store the value of one, two, or three, corresponding difficulties easy, medium, and hard. So that makes sense. Uh, cool. So anyway, we're gonna close that off. I'm gonna make a quick event so we know that switch four is turned on. So we'll have this person be like, "Yo, switch. Where is it? Control switches. Switch four is turned on now. So switch four is on. There we go. All right, awesome. So now we're in the game and stuff. And if we look into our options menu right now, we'll see that hey, the difficulty isn't in our general thing. So where could it be? I don't know. Let's go turn switch four on by talking to this person right here. And now if we go to our options, there it is, difficulties right there. So now, of course, as you can see, the default value is medium or also two. We can set it to easy for one, we can set it to hard, and then of course we loop through it by hitting the X button, I mean the Z button. And yeah, that's all there is to it. So if we set it to easy like that, and then, you know, check out a variable. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll just use a console. Okay, so if we do game, whoa game the variables dot value of one as you can see it's one meaning that it's easy right now if we set this to medium now as you can see it's going to be equal to two and now if we set this to hard as you can see this is going to be equal to three it's that simple so how could we incorporate this difficulty into the game well it makes so all of our skills do less damage the higher the difficulty so for example if we set it so our attack skill is going to take this entire value and then we'll like i don't know we'll um add well no we'll multiply times two no three minus variable one so what's going to happen here is three minus the hardest value of three. Oh god wait and we'll make it four okay so four 
So 4 minus the highest difficulty 3 would result in 1, so it makes so all the damage is multiplied by 1. If it's 2, 2 minus... No, no, 4 minus 2 is 2, so this will be doubled. And then if it's 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, so all this damage will be tripled. So there we go, that's an example of a thing you can use it for. Okay, honestly, I can't think of many, like, options you could create besides a difficulty. So I'm gonna have to, like, think about it for a bit and actually get a good example. So give me a second here. One eternity later. All right, guys, I actually have something now. Okay, I thought of it just now. So, um, what we could do is add another option called, um, show followers, like that. So we can set it so it's gonna be in a general category description. Uh, we'll say determines whether or not the f followers in in the party are shown like that oh we should probably make it so it's better yeah there we go D that's good enough anyway so we're gonna set the position to be above we'll set it in the middle i guess and we'll set the condition to be true variable id to be two this time so we'll make it two and we'll call this followers so followers and then we'll go and set the default value to one, whatever. And what the options be, of course, one is going to be on and then two is going to be off. And so now we'll go to our on change eval and we'll use the game temp to reserve a common event. That common event being one. So what this will do is we'll call a common event to change whether or not the followers are shown or not. So we'll do that. Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now we'll go to common event one. So we'll go here we are. So, toggle followers. So now we'll say if variable two is set to one, they should be turned on. So we'll go to a conditional branch. If, uh, shoot, there we go. Okay, so variable followers is equal to one. We'll make it so that the followers are shown. So, change on. Then for this, we'll turn it off just like that. All right, here we go. So now I see all our cool followers like that. Yeah, they're there they're and existing. We can go to options, show followers, turn it, whoa, 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 turn it off. There we go, I made a little mistake right there. And now bam, no followers. But now if we go back to the options and turn them back on like that, whoa, they're here again. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh. So yeah, that's, that's a thing you can do now, yeah. You know, if this, we can also let players toggle the catch limit for the images. So we'll say image catch limit, and we'll have that um, category general once again. And we'll say the description is, determines the amount of images stored in memory. That's not high, you know, fine, memory, there we go. I don't even care. Anyway, um, blah, 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 you get the idea. We're gonna store it into variable number three, and we'll call this catch like that. And then we'll go into our default value, and we'll have it so the default value is gonna be one, but in reality, we're gonna have five options. It's gonna be 10, 20, thir whoa, wait, 30, 40, and then 50. So each of these are gonna be multiples of the value they're representing, which, so for example, 10 is gonna be one, 30 is gonna be three, etc., etc. So what we'll do here is go to the on change eval and have it so we'll first get the variable, so do gain variables dot value of, let's say three, so it was three. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, multiply by 10 to get the actual catch value. And then we'll say, we're gonna say right here, so we're gonna say <laughs> image catch dot limit is gonna be equal to this right here, so it's going to be the, the amount of the limit and whatever. And of course, multiplied by a thousand times a thousand, I think. Or it might be a hundred by a hundred. I looked it up. It's a thousand by a thousand. Okay, so there we go. So now players can customize how much the catch will limit and stuff. Yeah. And so now here you go. You may not be able to tell, but if we go to our, uh, um, what do you call it? Oh, here it is. Image catch. We can now customize how many things it is. So we set it to 50 and now there's a lot to store so it should be more lagless and if we're, or we could set it to 10 to make it more optimized it's, it's up it's up to you anyway uh that's all for this video download link to no actually link to the link to the download link of the plugin as usual is in the description of the video this video in fact i could have the freedom to put it not in the description but i did it anyway because that's the way i do things Thank you for watching, and, and I wish I could go into this bed. Oh wait, I can't, I can hit control. 
oh my gosh, this is the greatest day ever. It's, it's, it's a slumber party in the bed. <sighs> All right. Well, bye for now. Yeah.